This week and this week only, we're running a new bundle package. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got two packages for you. One for each of our two new shirts. That's right, the hamburger shirt and the Monday drunk shirt. Included in those packages is the shirt, sunglasses, and the hat for 50 bucks. That's 20% off, ladies and gentlemen. Get it while you can. Today at number six with cheese, we're headed to Little Caesars. A few weeks back, they launched the slices and sticks. Four pieces of pepperoni pizza, eight Italian cheese bread slices for $6. Is it a good deal? Is it worth it? Today, Corey and myself headed west on Addison. Snag one, let you guys know. Food reviews, YouTube, let's go. Shh. Sixers, happy Thursday. Slices and sticks, six dollars acquired. Little Caesars, jump cut. All right, guys, pizza, cheese steak, cheese steak, cheese stick, heaven. Uh, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, oh, whoa, look at that. It's half pizza, half breadsticks. Wow, look at that. You're seeing pepperoni. Look, I'm not going to describe breadsticks and pepperoni pizza to you. You're not dumb. You can see it. Use your eyes. Come on, boys and girls. Talk about innovation. how they do it? Is this the first time a place has ever done this? Because this is incredibly smart. First time I've known about it and it's brilliant. Okay. All right, I'm about to rip this box, okay? I don't want you making it weird. You're already making it weird. You're making me not want to do this. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Did you like that, sir? Yes. You keep that smirk up, I'm not doing it again. It's gonna be a one and done, all right? Don't make it weird, Sean. You're making me not want to do it. I don't know how to be normal. <laughs> All right. I feel like you got to put the cheese stick on top of the pizza and eat it, right? Go for it. I mean, you can. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an adult. Yeah, <laughs> eat. I'm not. Oh, this actually, look at that. Now I can get a bite of both. Oh, that's brilliant. Stayed connected? Me and you are staying connected. Yep. All right, this is half pizza, half Italian cheese bread from Little Caesars, $6. From four to eight, it's hot and ready. Cheers. Cheers. That's the move right there, bro. Little Caesars got so good. That's the move. Try to tell me it's not the move. Where'd that sauce go? That bite. Crazy sauce? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called crazy sauce. What'd they do different? I don't know. It's just marinara. They just call it crazy sauce. Oh, I wonder if they put like herbs or something in it. Well, they're, that is their sauce. It's just mm. called crazy sauce. It always comes with their crazy bread. Mm. It's crazy sauce. Crazy! Go crazy! I also brought Sixer sauce. Great for pizzas. Yeah, and great for cheese bread. Oh, shameless plug, I don't care that I look like a douche. Here we go. Oh my God, bro. Tasty. Like this. Put this right on here. Peak fat boy. Look like Randy Santella out here, bro. Who's that? He is very competitive. A fat guy? Yeah. Damn, the sweet and the spicy on that. It's so good, bro. I thought you were talking about the pizza for a second. I was <laughs> like, awesome. the pizza's sweet? <laughs> I'm gonna go out right now and tell you this is a great deal. Mm-hmm. Two buddies going out, you each get two pieces and four pieces of bread for three dollars a piece. That's brilliant. Is it okay if I dip this in here like this, mm -hmm. even though I've bit here? That's yeah, fine. Okay. Always ask your friend. They're yeah, crazy sauce. Percent. So good. Yeah, consent on sauce all the time. I'm so happy right now. Ah, it's so good. Little Caesars, people need to talk about how well they use herbs. Oh, they're great at it. Like their prices are great. Their pepperonis are amazing. Their sauce is so good. But honestly, I think they use herbs and seasonings better than any pizza place in the game. The only thing that comes to mind is the Hut favorite is pretty good. And Turbo Crust from Jets is good too, but I think Little Caesars wins. And I feel like they still do it without asking at Little Caesars or something. Yeah, just baked into the recipe. This is about as cheap as you can make a pizza and it still tastes good. How do they even profit off this? Uh, it's like the Costco dogs. I hear they're losing money on those. Mm -hmm. Reddit told me they've done the same price since like 1984. I want to do a Costco dog review versus a Home Depot dog. They have my Home Depot? Home Depot's got like a little cart mm. that you can get hot dogs from on your way out. Mm. On Reddit, 
they were saying that at Costco it's been the same price since like like I said like 1985 or 75 or something like that and at one point there was a meeting where the CEO like they were telling him like bro we're losing money on this mm -hmm. this is the CEO's response swear to God this is what Reddit says if you if you change the price of that hot dog I will <laughs> kill you <laughs> whoa right based on context clues I knew you were gonna go aggressive but probably what he said like really stood for it didn't think you're going there. No, amazing. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh wow, that's so good, bro. Are you are you done? Mm -hmm. May I grab this from you? I have an idea. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. You good? I just saw my grandma. You did? Why? I just died. She died or you died? I died. I saw her. She's like, I'll be. You'll be up here soon. And then I came back. How to life. soon? I mean. Soon. Wow. Is it nicer in hell than they say? <laughs> I see what you did there, you little <laughs> maggot. <laughs> All right, new innovation. Put your Sixer sauce in the crazy sauce, and that's a sauce a orgasm. Almost didn't get that joke out. Wow, that was good. Wow. All right, well, that was freaking great. Yeah, always a good experience with LCs, except for their wings. Yeah, that was a bummer. All right, before we go ahead and, um, I don't know, I guess rate the deal, because we've had both those foods before. Uh, let's go ahead and do a shout out. Cameo shout out, cameo shout out, cameo shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a cameo. If you're not familiar, it's a website where you can go and request uh, happy birthdays. Maybe you want some advice. Maybe you just want a shout out. Maybe you want to buy, maybe your, your brother or your mom or your son or your dad loves number six with cheese and you want to get them for Christmas a little uh, Merry Christmas uh, from, from, from us. So you pay us. 19 bucks on the old cameo. There it is. And uh, we'll pay you, or we'll pay you. We'll, and we'll make a video for you. you. We'll definitely not pay you. <clears throat> Here's an example of a video we made recently. Michael freaking Bickerton. Happy 60th. <clears throat> One, two, three. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. And nobody can deny. <laughs> Not just fat food guys, singers too. Fat food? Fat food guys. And uh, we're gonna do shout outs for people who order cameos. We've already had a couple orders come in. So we're gonna do one shout out real quick from our cameo folks. Today's cameo shout out is for Patrick and Jim Welby. <laughs> Patrick said, you know what, Sean and Corey, I want to buy you guys for $19 to give my dad, Jim, a shout out. He just had knee surgery. You know, he's getting up there in age. Roast him, toast him, make him laugh. So we made him a video. He loves a good roasting. It was a blast. So Jim, hope the knee surgery went well. Hope you're doing well, because we love you. And Patrick, thanks for buying Cameo. Get yourself toasted and roasted, dude. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. If you're still confused by Cameo, I did make a vlog explaining what Cameo is and how it works. So check that out. If you are uh, curious and I did a piss poor job of explaining it yeah. here, then I think I did a better job in the video. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyways, cameo.com forward slash number six with cheese if you want to book us. Yeah, out. watch his vlog, but do not subscribe. Do not subscribe. I, if you, you subscribe, do. I swear to freaking God, I'll come to your house and I'll toast you and roast you, dude. All right, um, Corey, let's go ahead and ro <laughs> roast. Let's go ahead and rate, there we go, our words, uh, the promotion here today, $6 for four slices of za and eight cheesy sticks, six bucks pizza portal, nice little oven opens up. Uh, that was very Jim Carrey. Out of five. No, don't. Don't insult Jim Carrey don't like that. Don't insult Jim Carrey by, you can't self, I'll tell you if you sound funny like somebody. You can't say that about yourself. Basically me being, going around going like, Dang, I just saw that math problem. I was a lot like Einstein. I'm a real <laughs> genius. Don't do that, bro. It's called being humble. That's so, yeah, oh yeah, I don't have that card. Out of five Ace Venturas, how many Ace Venturas do you give the slices and sticks, six bucks, LC's Corey? Man, um, I mean, the pro, like the in terms of the flavor, you guys know what Little Caesars tastes like. Like, there was no change to the recipe. It was just a really innovative, dope way to like get that. Sean mentioned it in the video, like, sometimes, um, I know you mentioned it before the video. I think you kind of mentioned it during the video. I'm very dumb. I might be confusing right. on camera 
conversation, off camera conversation. But you had mentioned at some point today in my life, you had mentioned that sometimes you don't want to have a whole pizza and you want yeah. pizza and breadsticks, but if you get both, you're going to have to eat that meal twice. You got to eat it the day that you order it and then you're going to have leftovers. You either waste those leftovers, you got to eat like a fatty two days in a row. Right. Sometimes you don't want that. So I think this was like a really smart thing to do. I think it was innovative. I'm surprised I haven't seen anybody else do that before. I know. And I think the price is ridiculous. So not for flavor, but for innovation and cost. Uh, I'm gonna give that a solid four. I don't really know how you could do that better. I mean, like, I guess it could be five dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the whole time I was thinking, like, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room for like the most incredible innovation. In innovate. That's a food we ate. In innovation, innovation, and innovation, innovation. I'm gonna leave room for some innovation in the future, just in case they like, you know somehow hollow that out and it becomes wings too. I don't know, hey, science is crazy. I'm, I was thinking 4.5. There you go, look at that. Like if the receipt could be baked into the pizza don't talk and to me you anymore. can eat it. Now you're pissing me off. And there's a two- Why would you want to eat a receipt? And then there's a- Just the other edible. day you took a bite out of something and whined about it tasting like receipts. So you clearly don't want receipts- That was lettuce. Baked into your food. I don't want lettuce on it. So why do you want it in your pizza? Okay, what about like a two liter of Pepsi? This is why in? you shouldn't be coming up with the innovations. You just right, said, I, I don't know science, then leave it to the scientists. Right, right. Just stop thinking, you're gonna hurt yourself, bro. Oh, I just hurt myself. <laughs> what if I just had an actual, I just, uh, I passed out from brain thinking. Brain aneurysm, I could see that happening. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thank you so much for putting up with fun. Were you gonna cuss? Or what happened? I you thought that guy knew that girl. I thought he was going up to be like, hey, he was like pointing at her and like waving and she like looked down. That was really, it was just one of those moments wow. where you're like, that was really weird. This guy. Yeah, he was flirting. Hope he doesn't circle back and go in there. Run. Maybe he was See you tomorrow. What a weird way to end a video. This is why people watch the Food Network. <laughs>